this session will be recorded okay so and every session in swiss technologies we are planning to record and the recorded sessions will be sent to you, to you through drive so in this session i am going to tell you the demo of the testing okay so the basic concepts how the software testing okay so like uh, what are the things you have to know so basically so what is the software testing why software testing is necessary okay so how to justify the quality of the software okay different approaches we are having to uh, decide the quality of the uh, software or the build and what are the different levels let's see one by one fine guys so few of guys having some knowledge and few of or not having so may i know what is testing a basic thing from you Uh, Basanti, Hemant, Priya, is this Vini? Uh, as for me, I guess it's to check how the software or the app uh, uh, runs or how it works in a real time. Yes. Yeah. So, any answers from anyone? Oh, uh, I think it's a process uh, to evaluate whether the software application is in good functioning or not. Hmm. Or, uh, or to check whether the developed software meets the required uh, requirements, sorry. I mean, yeah. if it meets the requirements of the customer or not. Very good. So have you gone through with my previous demo, any one of you? No. Fine, guys. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so as uh, Shashvi said, yeah, okay, fine, Basanti. Uh, Basanti, is any problem with your audio? You are uh, unable to talk with me directly, but you are ping me in chat. Fine. So, uh, as uh, Shashvi said, uh, so software is. Uh, it is a process of testing whether the build software is reaching the requirements or not. Yes, yes, the same thing only. But how differently way we achieve that and what are the different approaches we have to know in this session. And in detail, we will know. So how the testing will be done? How exactly as a professional tester, what are the things we have to understand? Let's see one by one. So what is a software testing? Okay, and why it is necessary, let's see one by one. So if you see here, so software testing is a process of a verification process as well as the validation process. Okay, so actually the developers are well known about the build compared to a testers. Okay, so compared to testers, well, developers are very familiar about the programming language, how they build, what are the logic they have used, is in everything they know. Okay, so first the developers will itself, they will verify. Okay, so the developers think, are we developed right product or software or not? With respect to the requirements, are we reaching or not? Means, with the with respect to the requirements only we are developed or not that they will verify first they will only do verification process okay so after building something okay some features or some scenarios or some modules in the application so they itself verify first okay so that is the process is the verification process Okay, software testing is a combination of verification now. Yes, after completion of the verification process. So if, if this verification process, if the developers feels that, yes, I reached my uh, requirements according to the requirements only, I developer. If they failed, if they failed, so later they will send it to the testing team. Okay, later the developers will send it to the testers too. So now what the testers will do, 
testers will do the process called validation. Okay, so what is the validation here? The developed product or software is right or not. They will verify, the developers will verify, but the testers will validate. So after developing, is reaching the requirements or not? So are they developed with respect to the requirements only now? Are, are they developed with out of, out of the track with respect to the requirements or something else? And they have to do uh, with a positive way and the negative way in all the different perce perception of the testing, they have to perform in the validation process that is done by the testers. Okay, so here the developers will only do verify the developed feature is reaching the requirements or not. Are we developed right product only or not? Or is it working something else? Or with the out of the requirements, it is going to work or not that they will just verify in this verification process that is done by the developers. And in the validation process, testers will validate that developed product or the software is right or not, okay? So in all the different perceptions, not only the verification, they should do validate means they have to validate by considering something and they have to do validation on that. Okay, this is about the verification and the validation. So in interview point of view also, they will ask you what is the verification and what is the validation. Fine, okay. So this is about the uh, software testing and uh, coming to a testing. So what exactly the testing we do perform? Not that verification is done by the developers itself. Okay, so the actual validation process we do perform, the testers do perform. How we do perform in this validation, what exactly we do? Okay, that we have to know, right? So in this, so we have to validate. Validation means we have to take one thing and we have to validate whether it is reaching or not. Okay, whether it is reaching or uh, not. We have to compare with that and we have to validate. So in this testing, so testing is a process to whether the uh, developed product is reaching the requirements or not. And uh, is it working with respect to the requirements or not? So actually, the actual thing is raising the expected thing was not that we have to do in the validation process. Okay. And if we found any difference between the actual and the expected, so then we found it's a bug and we will report that to the again developers. So this is the process we do in the validation process. Okay. So testing is a process whether the developer software is reaching the requirements or not with respect to the actual and the expected results we do perform this validation okay so this is about the software testing and the testing so if you found any difference between the expected and the actual we call it a bug and we will report that to the developers okay have you clear with this guys are you clear with this? Yes, it's clear. Fine. So, why software testing is that much necessary? Yes, actually this uh, verification process is done by the testers. Of course, software means combination of both. After completion of this verification and again validation is required. So, what are the things we exactly do perform and we have to do validate and we have to do verify. So, in the software testing so why that is why software testing is necessary okay so the developers will only do verification guys the entire testing should be done by the software testers only okay so here in the software testing what are the different parameters we have to do consider and in which way we have to move on that you have to do understand and you have to remember why software testing is necessary means to find out these many parameters only we have to do perform software testing on the build or on the application which is under testing. Okay, so the very first end, so how the reliability of the software. Okay, if false or 
any faults are there in the software before going to the protection production we have to do fine so to avoid the failures okay after production it went to production to avoid the failures we need to we need to be clear the software should reach all the requirements okay and the quality and the business further being the reputed reputed business we have to perform so reliability falls to avoid the failures quality business these are the major parameters we have to do concentrate while we are performing the software testing okay so to learn the reliability of the software so how much time how much consistency there for the application so that you have to do find okay so in if we go furtherly you will come to know how the reliability we can to perform by uh keeping the load by increasing the count on the application okay and uh, by um, by, te by testing the same functionality number of times or um, testing in the self we have to do functioning on that we have to perform some actions on that how the application is called working so we have to find the reliability the continuously how the application is giving the uh report uh outcome for us so false so because the software is likely to have false because of maybe the developer's mistake or maybe the complexity of the logic building or maybe some things okay so that you have to do fine in a testing phase okay software is likely to have faults but the faults will be very expensive if we do deploy the software with a buggy software to the production okay that we have to avoid to avoid the failure we have to find the faults and the to find the faults we have to perform the testing so because the failures are very expensive that's why you have to find the faults in the testing okay so quality to deploy the quality software to the client we have to perform the software okay so to give the assurance on the application how it is working for that you have to give a quality of the software how we can to give the quality by by performing software testing but how we can justify a software is a quality or not i will tell you so i am to know the business and to get the reputed business from the customers we have to do give a proper working real time working software to the client business to avoid the club complaints from the client and to stay in business with a good reputation we have to do give a quality software to the client how we can give the quality how we can assure about the software quality it's about the virtual thing right software not the hardware to justify a quality it's a not a hardware okay it's a software how we can do give the quality assurance and how we can give the justification on the quality of the software so how means we can give the quality software by knowing few parameters here software should be free from the bugs first of all okay while you doing testing you will come to know how the things are going on so is it working according to the expected thing only not that you will come to know software should be bug free and the defects free okay so i said what is bug means so while you are testing okay so while you are testing so testing means actually as a tester we should have tester we should have some uh, some expectation on the system okay so we should have some expectation on the application how it is working fine so and you will perform some actions on the app so now how the application giving the result okay when you perform some actions on the application definitely it will give some result to you so that you we will call it a actual result we will call it a actual results so with this actual results we have to with this actual result with this actual result we have to validate with our expected result we should have some expectation by performing some actions on the system and if this act actual and this expected 
if both are same so then we can say it's a box free okay so if it is not same so we have to call it's a bug what we call it's a bug or the defect so this is the way we have to perform testing on the element or the field or the scenario or the any module of the application so in that way we can consider we can uh, give the assurance on the application so software is it bug free or the defects free or not fine yes okay so how we can software should be within the budget before of that let's uh, go with this software should meet all the customer requirements and the expectations yes so software should meet all the requirements of the customers as well as the expectations software is working bugs free is not only the thing it should work according to the customer requirements and as well as it should be bugs free bugs free is not only the thing if it is working bugs free but the customer requirements is not not reaching means that uh, module is useless right okay so not only the bug free software should meet all the customer requirements as well as the expectations also okay so definitely the customer should be satisfied while using our application so that's why we should give the full fledged application to the client so that we have to we have to consider this parameter all requirements as well as the expectations also that the application should meet okay so it but how you will come to know means by performing the testing and by understanding the requirements of the customer by analyzing the by analyzing that only you can give this parameter is reaching or no okay and so software should be user friendly software should be user friendly means every client every client should be capable to use the application in that way we have to build the application and we have to and uh, after went into the uh, production also the application should be capable to use by any person okay so user friendly means easy way of understanding okay so easy way of understanding to use so friendly graphical representation of the elements to understand and to identify and if you observe in atm machine so even uh blind people also can able to uh feel how the uh like uh, buttons so each and everything so and the deaf people like uh if they are unable to unable to listen the voice they can able to see so if the people who are blind they can able to hear the voice so voice over will be come while the applic atm is using in that way the user friendly of the building is application is also important not only the inside the software is working fine or not only the our responsibility the user friendly of the building is also the responsibility in that way also we have to think and we have to provide the application to reach customer requirements as well as the expectations to use everybody okay so most of our thing is as a tester we have to think from the client perspective and we have to give a quality software to the client this is our agenda actually okay so user friendly is also a parameter we have to understand we have to work for this fine okay so and software should be under customer maintenance okay by giving lengthy features by expensive features so if you wanted to provide the user friendly means it's not the thing so as well as you have you should also provide all these parameters at the same time the application should be under maintenance also this is also the parameters you have to consider so software should be within the budget and delivered within the time deadline yes you are trying to reach all the requirements and the expectations of the app yes you are ready to give the user friendly of the application but you are failed to deploy the software within the budget and the within the timeline it's again a not accepted by the client it's again a demerit of you so you have to satisfy all these parameters as well as you should also do satisfy this parameters that is 
software should be within the budget and delivered within the time length, then only we can call it this quality, quality software. So tomorrow is a deployment of the build. But still you are finding some bugs and still you are unable to give the user friendly software. Okay, still you are not at reach of the expectation. Still you are working on that. But tomorrow is only the deployment. So this is again a, this is not at all called the group thing. Okay, so within the timeline also we have to be capable for that. So for that you have to work. So as a tester, you have to work for the deployment in a within the timeline. Okay, so if uh, tomorrow is a deployment, but you are unable to unable to deploy the software, means you have to give many reasons for the client, and you have to pay for the fine for the client according to the agreement. So these are the situations should not encourage. So for that's why as a quality team, quality assurance team, you have to give a proper working software at the timeline of the project also and within the budget as well. Fine? Okay. So the budget and the timeline will be mentioned clearly in the testing test plan document and according to that you have to work and you have to give the very good report according to HDL team it is possible. So let's see one by one. Okay. So what are the different approaches we are having here? Okay, so manual testing approach. So test cases, what is manual and what is automation means? So here the thing is, test cases are executed manually without using any automated tool. All test cases executed by the tester manually according to the end user's perspective yes as a tester every time we have to think like an end user and from the end user's perspective only we have to think and we have to work for the quality software okay quality software yes manual testing will without any automation tool we have to perform testing on the build and we have to give the quality of that particular build how it is working Okay, so this is about the manual testing. Test cases means uh, you will understand it furtherly. So test cases means we have to prepare some checklist to prepare uh, to test a document way of the testing and a systematic way of the testing. So these we do call test cases. We will prepare the test cases in Excel sheet. And we will execute the step-by-step -step process and we will validate and the expected results and the actual results, whether they are uh, reaching this expected end or if both are same means it's okay. We will pass the test case. And if both are not same means, we will find it's a bug and we will report that to the developer. So this is the way we will have the test cases. So those test cases we have to execute manually. So that we call manual test case, manual testing. And if you use a specific tool to execute the test script, so without any human interference, okay? So everything will be, uh, you have to clearly write in a test script in some, using some, any environment, any integrated IDE or any IDE by using like IntelliJ or Eclipse IDE, you can do perform and you can do execute. So here this tool will be some any IDE you can use. Okay, so this is the automation test. So for that to write the test scripts here to execute without any human interface, you should, you should have some knowledge on any uh, programming language. Okay, to write the test scripts. So here we are going with the core Java. Core Java is enough, guys. So no need complete Java. So core Java means some basic concepts we have to learn here. And uh, it is only the 12% of the Java. Just basic things. 12% of the Java learning. You can do, able to write the test scripts. Okay. Yes. So what are the different levels of the software testing we are having? How we can do achieve all these uh, quality of the software? Okay, so to achieve the quality of the software, so the, of course the developers will do perform as well as the tester should also do perform. So what are the different levels will be there? 
some verification and the validation process there no so developers and testing team will do perform so unit testing integration testing system testing acceptance testing so these two testing will be done by the developers okay so and the system testing will be done by the testers okay system testing or the some other name is also there for this that is bbt means black box testing so this we do call vbt means white box testing so acceptance testing means so in this item two different levels will be there so some of the testing will be performed by the same testers so same testers and sometimes this testing is done by the client side team also okay so our team should also to perform as well as the client team also if there means perform otherwise our testers will only do perform this system testing as well as the acceptance testing okay so these are the different levels of the testing will be there so to know each and everything means again we have to spend a lot of time and the sessions to complete all these in, a, in detail because this is only the different levels of the testing we have to perform to give the complete quality of the software okay so these are the different levels to make sure that software is working fine or not so if here if you observe what is unit testing so unit testing means isolate each component so if you observe so the application will be there so application means it will have the different features okay number of features to make this a complete application we have to provide the many many features in this okay so under this many features again some components will be there okay so here what you have to do in the of course this will be performed by the developers but you have to know what is this unit testing actually okay so isolate each component so we have to isolate each component we have to separate this one separate this one separate this one and separate this one and we have to verify individually that is working fine or not isolate each component in the software to make sure that component in the software is working according to the requirements or not individually that is working fine or not that you have to make sure in the unit testing okay so what the developer will do developer will understand the requirements from the client after understanding he has to create some logic he has to build some uh, logic for that to work according to the requirements so at that time he will work on individually first of all he will start from the zero level and he will prepare that say working build so after preparing the each and every build he has to make sure that individual component is working fine or not so that will be done by the unit testing simply so unit testing means isolate each component in the software this is a complete application in the isolate each one okay and he has to make sure that each and every thing is working fine or not okay so coming to integration so after making sure that each and every individual one is working fine they have to combine all and we have to give a proper application proper build okay to the testing team so that's why they will integrate all the modules after verifying each and every individual module working fine and now they will integrate and how the navigation how the interlink is going on from top to bottom how it is working bottom to top how it is working if you do some changes here so how this is the interconnection module is reflecting these changes so this is the way we have to perform the integration this is the why we have to perform so let's see integrate or more components to make sure that the function correctly and working according to the requirements or not that's why we have to perform the integration testing so we have to do integrate two or more components and to make sure that they function correctly in working according to the requirements or not the developers will do perform this okay so for this again we will have the different levels top to bottom bottom to top hybrid 
okay so i will again discuss we will again discuss in further classes about this uh, unit and integration testing in the evening so let's see the next level of the testing is after completion of the white bus testing the, de the development team will send the bill to the will send the bill to the testing team so now the testing team what we have to do we have to perform this black box testing or the system testing to give the quality software to the client how we can do justify the quality means we have to consider some more points right free from the bugs okay so and we should be meet all the expectations and the uh, requirements okay should be under maintainable should be user friendly okay so these are the parameters again we have to consider and we have to give the uh, quality assurance for the testing how it is working fine why we are calling it's a black box testing because as a tester we no need to have the knowledge on the application of course we will have the zero knowledge on the application what is this technology they have used we don't know okay what is the complexity of the logic they have used we don't know okay so complexity of the logic that they have used we don't know okay so what is the architecture what is the critical architecture we are having for that particular build we don't know but our thing is as a tester we have to work like a end user or the client and we have to give the assurance how it is working okay we should capable to give the assurance to the client it is working fine so that's why we have to perform the test that is only our agenda we no need to know the complete knowledge on the application that is the de development team duty okay our thing is we have to do what we have to do here we have to reach all the points like uh, as we discussed above so these are the different points we have to reach and we have to give the quality to the client quality is offered to the client fine yes so in this testing what we will do means we have to simply perform some action on the application and we have to list out as expectedly only we are getting or not so while you are giving some input on the application you will have some expected result okay you will have some expectation on the results after performing these actions on the application now the system will give something to you some output to you so that is the actual one you were expected will be you were expected only what is the system is giving that is the actual so if this expected and the actual if expected and the actual both are same okay so in all the different point of view okay so user interface point of view functionality point of view this uh, expectation point of view requirements point of view okay and everything like uh, maintenance point of view uh, means user friendly point of view everything you are having some expectation and the system is giving something to you if everything is same so yeah the software is a quality software we can do justify that so as a tester you have to perform something on the system and you should have an expectation while you are giving something on the application or some actions you are performing on the application and it's time to give some output to you by the system so you have to validate those if those are not same means okay if those are not same so if the same means okay if those are not same means you have to report them as a bug okay so this is about the overview of the black box testing fine so what is the acceptance testing or the user acceptance testing and again in this we will have the different levels some alpha testing and beta testing so again first we have to execute in our testing environment by the testers that is called the alpha testing of course so here alpha testing means uh, or also acceptance testing means some test cases will be given by the client okay the client will give some test cases what is the acceptance criteria they wanted to accept that build 
they will give you according to that you have to do perform some ex uh, test execution and uh, you have to uh, make sure that the final build is uh, before deployment final build is working according to the client requirements or not okay if it is working fine means you can do the alpha testing got passed so that you have to perform under the testing environment by the same testers who who has performed this bbt only the same testers will do perform okay after this the alpha testing is also got passed later the client's testing team will do perform same test case execution and everything is same but the name will be beta because here the testers will be changed the testing team will be changed here the testing team is client team so in the client environment client environment means real time environment with the real scenarios with the real test data so with the increasing the count of the numbers users okay virtual users everything will be real in nature so in that way beta testing will be performed fine okay so so what are the different projects we will deal in the course means uh, okay so for, to perform the manual testing we can go with the admin portal this is a simple application to go with the admin portal and e-commerce applications also very simple so region management will be a lengthy application okay i will give you the scenario of this also but uh, we will mostly go with these two applications so you will get the complete knowledge on these applications and you can feel the hands-on experience by performing the testing on these applications okay yes so and uh, if you are a manual tester means uh, in this manual testing we will go with these two projects but coming to automation testing for the to perform the automation testing we have to use a number of applications by the single application is not at all complete the complete uh, course of the automation testing you have to use a number of applications to learn about the automation testing not only these two you have to use many applications so for that's why you have to use the many application many scenarios many user stories so you have to work on those and you can feel that you will get a hands-on experience on by performing the testing on the projects okay so let's see what is the course content here we are having so this is the course content we are having up to now okay so the very first time I will tell you in a first 10 classes, I will give you the complete knowledge on the testing in interview point of view, as well as a knowledge point of view. So from the scratch, I will teach you. Okay. These are the things, what are the different SDLC models, software testing methods, what are the different methods. Okay. So these are the different testings will be there in the black box testing. Okay, what is the STLC? How exactly a software life cycle will be there? So, what are the things we have to do? Concentrate while performing the software testing life cycle. Okay, what is the agile methodology? In interview point of view, what are the different questions you will get in the agile? Because nowadays all the companies are moving on with agile process because of the uh, quality, sorry, because of the high productivity of the application okay so and later after completion of uh, these concepts i will take uh, 10 classes around so in that 10 classes one one hour will be there so in that uh, almost 10 hours 10 hours are enough to learn about these concepts and complete uh, some testing knowledge okay you will get so after that we can do start the project fine so that will take around five classes so here the, in the five classes, you have to give, you have to spend a lot of time to complete the project. In five classes, I can give the most of the knowledge how to perform and all, but you have to spend a time to finish that. Okay. So later we can do start the automation testing. So Selenium. Okay. So in that, uh, we will go with the Eclipse IDE is our environment, integrated development environment that is Eclipse. This is a free source. Uh, most of the market is uh, having the requirement who are having the knowledge with the Eclipse IDE plus Java for Java. Okay. So this is a good combination uh, the companies are using. 
because the Java is a very, very big platform. Okay. So, and later I will start uh, core Java concepts. Core Java sessions, I will take 15 classes at least. And in this 15, all the hoops are concepts and all, you will come to know how to write the scripts and all. And later you should also learn the Selenium web driver. So again, some more automation testing concepts we have to learn by using the Selenium. Fine. So these are the different things you have to know how to write the test cases in the Eclipse IDE environment and what are the different projects, uh, frameworks we are having. To perform the systematic uh, way of the testing, we have to use some frameworks. And this is a Jenkins integrated tool. Okay. So to integrate with the production team, this will help. And the GitHub to maintain our automation code as well as the uh, development code, we have to use the Git and GitHub. And uh, that is enough to learn in a one class by using some Linux commands. And what exactly the automation life cycle? And uh, let's uh, finish with the Cucumber VDT framework. So this is the course content we are having. So to deliver this, I will take around uh, 60 classes complete. Okay, so 60 to 65 classes are enough. So, fine. This is a course content we are having. And coming to Swiss. So why I will recommend you to go with the Swiss technologies to learn the uh, course. So here, most of the core, uh, training is uh, project-oriented training only. So we will do give the assignments as well as the class delivery also on the user stories only. Okay, user stories, nothing but in agile terminology, we do call the user stories or the modules of the application. Okay, we have to work on those. So at that time, if you do work on those means you will get the hands-on experience. We will feel we are having the hands-on experience. How the real time, the all the real time, uh, you will do handle the projects from the understanding level to the from the deployment level. What exactly the process will be? So because of the real time, people will deliver like me. So that's why you can easily understand how exactly the real time or projects will be and in the company, all the things you will come to know. So one to one monitoring is done. Yes, we are. Uh, uh, choosing, we are uh, forming the badges with a less count as well as we are also providing the telegram channel. You can also you can also talk with a, a mentor and if you have any doubts you can ping me through my telegram channel. We will also do create a group in that telegram. So interaction sessions will be conducted, doubts, clarification in every point of your time at any point of time. If you get any doubt you can ask me. Not a problem. Okay. So resume pre resume preparation also we will give you and I will also send you the sample resumes and we will also conduct the mock interviews after completion of one session and uh, one uh, section of the learning like uh, after completion of the manual, after completion of the course and after completion of the automation. I will ask you what are the important questions you will get and I will also give you the important questions uh, talk for you for interview point of view and the reference point of view. Okay, so and the, some job assistance, if, uh, some career gap people, people there means uh, it will be helpful for them. So because the switch is also providing some job assistance to the people who are having some career gap. Okay, so and also the switch is connected, associated with the 50 plus clients. Okay, so like uh, different companies like uh, C2N, Nagaro, Infosys, these are the different clients are associated, clients are associated with the switch technologies. And RICE will also conduct it from the switch technologies. Of course, the history of the switch, you, you can easily understand by following the switch telegram channel. So 900 plus students got placed from here, switch technologies. Okay, so you please do understand the things about the switch as well as my course content, as well as my lecture, and uh, you can decide. Fine, so we will connect by tomorrow. And any questions, guys? Basanti, Hemant, Priya, is this for me? Uh, guys, any questions? Please unmute and answer me. Oh, no, no, that's clear. 
Yeah, it's clear. Very. Thank you, Basanti. Thank you. Yeah. What about uh, yeah? Hello, Amir, good but... name, please. Sudha. Sudha. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. No questions. Uh, no questions about the lecture, but uh, when do we get those drive links? Yeah, so we can get the drive link. Of course, uh, drive link you will get by the today itself. Not a problem. Okay, so yeah. will you update so, the Kalyani... class on daily basis? Yes, yes. After completion of the class itself, it will take uh, 10 minutes to report, like uh, progressing of the session. After that, immediately I will post into the drive. And you can okay. go through with that. But so it will the, take some time to load the complete session uh, video in the drive. Just wait for a few right. time and you can go with that. All right, right. cool. So yeah. About those uh, resume preparation and the mock interviews. So is yeah. it at the end of the whole sessions? Like, is it end of the whole training or in between? No. No, if you want uh, any requirement means you can ask me. So I will send you after the manual testing completion. After completion of the manual testing, you will come to know the concepts. So yes. if you uh, understand the, res uh, if you go through with the resume points and all, you can easily know, mm -hmm. you can easily know yes. what are the different things you will be for the software tester. So that's why I am planning to give you the resumes after the manual testing only. Fine. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Hemant, don't you have any doubt? No, madam. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, guys. Uh, can I end the session here? Yes. Yeah, fine. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. And we will connect by tomorrow with the same timing. I think you can also do join with the same link. And if any change means, I will update you once we are connected with a Telegram group. Fine? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, fine, guys. Thank you.